the Robin Hood of Chambal, Phoolan Devi, known for her brand of biblical justice. Born in Jalau, Uttar Pradesh, she started as a dacoit and went on to become a member of parliament and even a pop culture icon. However, her story of becoming the bandit queen is rarely ever discussed. Belonging to a Malla family, Phoolan's family sold down cakes for a living. While she was still young, she was beaten unconscious by her uncle and his men. At the innocent age of 11, Phoolan Devi was married off to a man thrice her age. Her husband kept another wife and mistreated Phoolan Devi. She eventually ran off from her marriage and joined a gang of decoys. But she was sexually abused by its gang leader. Vikram Malla, the gang's second in command, saved her. He also killed the gang leader and took control of the gang. Fulan and Vikram became romantically involved thereon. But Vikram was killed by other so-called upper caste members of the gang. They took Fulan hostage and took her to their village Behemai and repeatedly raped and abused her. After three weeks, Fulan Devi managed to escape Behemai and formed her own gang. She returned to Behemai and demanded that her rapists appear before her. When they were not found, Fulan ordered that every Thakur member of the village be lined up on the banks of the Yamuna and be shot. The massacre came to be known as the Behemai Massacre, leaving 20 dead. The then Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh, VP Singh, had to resign and a manhunt for Fulan on Su. In 1983, Fulan Devi surrendered and spent the next eight years in prison. In 1994, Mulayam Singh Yadav got all the charges against her dropped. She was given a Lok Sabha ticket from Mirzapur, an election she won. She lost her seat to the BJP candidate soon after in 1998, but the next year, she won it again. On the afternoon of 25th July 2001, three unknown assailants in a car fired nine shots at Fulan Devi and her bodyguard. Upon reaching the hospital, she was pronounced dead. Mystery still surrounds her death. Sher Singh Rana, the man who claimed that he shot Fulan as revenge for the Bahamai massacre, surrendered to the police. However, there is no evidence which gives his account the legitimacy. Many even say that she was assassinated by her husband, Umed Singh, for her property. 22 years after her death, Fulan Devi remains one of India's most controversial figures who looted from the so-called upper caste rich and shared the wealth with the poor. Her tactics and method were inhumane but she is still admired for her resolve to make conditions better for women from the underprivileged castes in rural India. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.